If you want a great looking, healthy lawn, one of the most important things that you can do is to keep your lawn mower blades sharp and in good shape. Mowing with a dull blade can create a ragged cut to your grass and actually turn it brown. Knowing how to sharpen your mower blades will keep your grass looking great, green and healthy, and it'll actually help your lawn mower to last longer too. This video will teach you how to sharpen your lawn mower blades, whether it's a gas powered or an electric lawn mower. And you first need to learn how to tell if you even need to sharpen them. How do you know you have a dull blade? We'll walk through that and if you do, I'll show you the tools and the various ways that you can keep those lawn mower blades looking great. To sharpen your lawn mower blades, you'll need the following tools and materials. A gas powered lawn mower or an electric lawn mower, a metal file, a blade sharpener kit, a vise, a ratchet, a socket size for the nut on your lawn mower, a power drill, a siphon pump, an empty gas container, a two x four scrap piece of wood, a clamp, tape, WD-40, spray paint or a marker, screwdriver, a stiff brush, a paint scraper, a microfiber towel, safety glasses, and of course, you'll need gloves. It's recommended that lawnmower blades should be sharpened twice per season or after 25 hours of use to keep the blades in good shape. After all, sharp blades help to prevent lawn disease from getting a foothold. Sometimes, however, you may hit a rock or a stone with the blades, and if this happens, you'll need to sharpen your lawnmower blades right away. But other times you may notice some telltale signs that your blades need to be sharpened. For example, you may notice uneven grass height after cutting, the grass blades may look torn instead of sliced, or the grass edges are brown and frayed. First, always make sure that you're wearing gloves and you've put on safety glasses. Next, disconnect the spark plug wire and tape it back to prevent any accidental ignition. In an electric lawn mower, simply remove the battery and set it aside. Next, using a siphon and an empty gasoline container, drain the gas tank from the gas-powered lawn mower to avoid fuel spills. Be careful when turning the mower onto its side, and you want to make sure that the air filter and the carburetor are facing up. Before loosening the nuts, wedge a 2x4 piece of wood between the blade and the lawn mower to keep the blade still. You'll use a clamp to hold this in place to protect your hands. And you can use a Sharpie or spray paint, but mark the bottom of the lawnmower blade to ensure that when you install it, after sharpening, it will be installed correctly right side up. Find the nut that holds the mower blade to the drive shaft, and then use a ratchet and a socket or a wrench to loosen the nut until the mower blade releases. And if the nut and the threaded shaft are rusted or stuck together, apply a little penetrating oil such as WD-40 and allow it to sit for a few hours. Sometimes the blade is unusually dirty or caked with grass clippings. When that's the case, spray it with some penetrating oil, let it sit as directed, and then scrub the debris away with a stiff brush. Wipe the blade clean with a dry microfiber cloth before securing it into the vise. There are several ways to sharpen your lawnmower blades. First, let's sharpen one of the blades using a metal file. Use angled strokes in only one direction until the blade is only as sharp as a butter knife. You don't want to over sharpen with the file. Next, you can also sharpen the lawnmower blade using a blade sharpener that comes in a kit. And this is great because it comes with everything that you need and you can use just a standard drill. The blade sharpener inserts into the drill and you'll tighten it up and place the flat part of the sharpener on the back edge of the blade and the curved edge of the sharpener will be next to the curved edge of the blade. You'll run this sharpener over the blade a few times until the blade is, again, as sharp as a butter knife. And you can also sharpen lawnmower blades with an angle grinder, but personally, I think the blade sharpener kit works perfectly for the everyday homeowner. After sharpening the blade, next you must make sure that the blade is balanced. This is important because lawnmowers run smoothest when the blade is balanced. However, sharpening sometimes removes more metal from one edge than the other, and this can make a blade unbalanced. If it wobbles, it will wobble on the mower too, so that's why we have to make sure that this is balanced, because an unbalanced blade may damage your mower, and for the most accuracy and precision in checking the blade balance, you can buy a blade sharpener and balance kit. And if you don't have access to a blade balance, you can use a screwdriver by inserting the tip through the hole in the blade, and the blade should balance on top or drop to balance on the handle. If the blade drops in either direction, it means that the blade is unbalanced. The side that has dipped is the heavier, so take a few strokes off that end to remove some of the metal and then retest. 
Now that the blade is sharpened and you've checked that it's balanced properly, it's time to install the blade into the lawnmower. Now before we install it though, this is a great time to clean any additional debris that's underneath the lawnmower with a brush. Use a paint scraper to remove any thick, caked on grass clippings. Be sure that the side you previously marked with a Sharpie or spray paint is face down and visible to you. This is to ensure that it's being installed correctly. Tighten the nuts securely with a ratchet and socket. And again, make sure this is very tight. And now it's time to reconnect the spark plug wire and refill the gas tank. If this is an electric lawn mower, go ahead and insert that battery and check that your mower starts smoothly. As you can see, it's not difficult at all to sharpen your own lawnmower blades. And with just a few materials and tools and about an hour of your time, you can sharpen your blade so that your grass is gonna look beautiful and green and healthy. And you can find all of these tools and materials and lawnmowers at the Home Depot.